Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Funny Longo. And we are Funny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to say thank you once again. You guys are super amazing. Thank you for uh, taking us to 20,000 subscribers. And also you want to thank everybody who's been able to just watch our videos to the end, supporting us with you know even not skipping those ads, watching the ads and whatnot. We get a little bit of you know. Uh, support from those ads that you watch sometimes and yeah I mean it's a good thing but we're here to give you content entertain you guys make you guys learn and at the same time we also learn from whatever you guys give us also very 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 good so without any further ado today we're gonna do another reaction video this one was suggested by one of the guys in the comment section below and uh, he suggested that we should go react to God created Adam and Eve not Adam and Steve this is Uncle Afman and Spanish girl speaker. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Uh, I understand that the religions teach you how to be well, how to be happy, because some things uh, like alcohol or smoking are bad for the girls. Bad. And all of that is understanding, but uh, it's because I have to ask you, uh, I, I have to, I, I want to send you a question about the um, the thing, uh, how, what I, that you said yes. uh, before. What you said before. Oh, uh, what did I say before? Remind yes. me. Yes, uh, about homosexuality. About hom homosexuality. Yes. It's because my question is, uh, if there are any go uh, any gods in Genera, uh, they made us. Yes. Uh, he made us. And yeah, he, he created us. Okay, can I answer you that one? Yes. I understand what you are saying. Can I answer you? Yes. Like I said, I'm holding the Holy Quran. Yes. And I am a Muslim. The Holy Quran is a book of the Muslims. Alright? And as Muslims, we have to believe in the Jewish Torah. We have to believe in the Injil, the Gospel of Isa al Islam, Jesus, peace be upon him. And we have to believe in the Zabur. Uh, the arms given to the Prophet Dawud al Islam. So we Muslims have to believe in all the books, including the Holy Quran. So in our Holy Quran, it tells us that you know homosexuality is a haram. Haram is prohibited, not allowed. Lesbianism is a haram, not allowed, prohibited. And I gave you answer. The creator, we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, he created Adam. Adam, our forefather. Whether you are from Spain, Pakistan, anywhere in the world. Okay? So he created Adam. And then the creator, God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he created Hawa, Eve. Okay? And when Adam and Eve, because of them, not because of Adam and Steve because of Adam and Eve a man married a woman that's why humanity is now there are nearly 8 billion human beings on the earth okay in a few years time the number of human beings on the earth will be coming up to 8 billion 8,000 million okay now I already gave you a reason that in European countries we are in beautiful United Kingdom. I am from Pakistan but I am also British as well. I am Pakistani and also British. Okay? So we are standing in the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom London is in the United Kingdom. Okay, Look around. How many people you see who are Asian? How many people you see who are African? Many. 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 You know why? Because, because First World War, so many killings in Europe. Millions got killed. And then this, that's 1914, 1918, the First World War. So much loss of life in Europe. Okay, because that's where 
uh, mainly the First World War took place. And then the Second World War from 1939 to 1945. Again, millions of people killed, okay, mainly in Europe. Then, because of so much loss of life. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ. Uh, Excuse me, madam. Madam, ma uh, you can come back if you want. Okay, anyway, yeah, she's a Christian lady. Okay, shall I carry on? Yes. Okay, so because of so many killings, uh, and these countries were economically high up, you know, industrialized countries, so they needed manpower. Why? They lost so much manpower in war. Okay, so they needed manpower. So they invited people from abroad. Okay, so that's why, I mean, we are here. Okay, and now when you people, you say, man, why is not man allowed to marry another man? So if man marries a man, that means if they are European, that means even more less European. You understand? Because Muslims, Man cannot marry man. A man, Muslim man can marry a woman. And when a man marries a woman, they have children. But when man marries man, no children. When woman marries woman, no children. So if you Europeans are in favor of homosexuality, man marrying man, that means you are making sure that Europeans become less and less and less. Uh, yes. You, you uh, can adopt it, adopt people. Yes. Pardon? Uh, adopt it. Adopt it. Oh, adopt. Yeah. Many, yes, oh, but yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Many children in the war are abandoned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. understand. Or, I understand. Okay. People can bring her an I, opportunity in the lifetime and teach him. I understand what she said. She said you can, if a man marries a man or woman you know homosexuality or if a woman marries a woman lesbianism you said okay when a man marries a man they cannot have children okay but they can adopt children so whose children they'll be adopting not their own children somebody else's children you understand so and But they don't have their own children. So when yes. they don't have their own children, that means less children for the European. Yes, Simple. I know it. Yeah. So, it's, so do you it's, want... It's better uh, an adopted children that be happy that a child that uh, it is a motive. But they won't be your own children. They are somebody else's children. They are yes. not your children. You and understand? Okay, can I, can I ask you, I told you that by the year 2100, the non-Muslim statistics, they tell us that there will be 16 million Muslims in Spain. Do you want the number of Muslims to increase or do you want your own Spanish people, the original Spanish, your number to increase? Because the Muslim man marries woman, they have children, so the number of Muslims increase. But when you in Spain, uh, you people, a uh, man marries a man, no children. When you in Spain, a uh, woman marries a woman, lesbianism, no children. So that means you will be becoming less and less. But you also said that if a man marry a man or a, less, or a woman marry a woman, the population less. The, the population? Yeah, the children. The children. Uh, but uh, now, uh, actually, I'm from Spain and I'm here to London. And here it's very expensive, a lot. Expensive, uh, yes. Food, uh, also More uh, expensive that, than Spain. Yes. I know, you are if, right. If uh, a family can, uh, uh, can afford uh, to, uh, to uh, have a baby, no. Uh, no, okay, okay, listen, listen. Let me tell you. Yes. Can I, can I, 
can, can I tell you, look, even if somebody is poor, they are not very rich. Look how many poor people in the world, the Muslims in Africa, the, in uh, Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australasia, the Muslim might be poor, might be working class, might not be rich, but they get a Muslim man gets married with a Muslim woman and they still have children and still those children, they can afford, they can grow up. I tell you how to save money. A person can save money if they, can, if they do not smoke. If they smoke, they will spending, yeah, if they smoke, they'll be spending so much money to buy a cigarette packet. And if they smoke for uh, 40 years, that means thousands of pounds. Another thing, so smoking, not good according to Islamic teachings. And if a person drinks alcohol, according to Islamic teachings, alcohol is haram. So if a person drinks alcohol, and they let's say drink alcohol for 40 years, 50 years, how much money they spend? So much money. So that that money you waste, you don't drink alcohol, you save money. You don't uh, smoke cigarettes, you save money. You don't go to nightclubs, you save money. And when you save money, you can marry, you can have children, you can bring up children, okay? If you go outside the gate there, there is Muslim, you know, Quran in English, maybe Spanish as well. Other, you can get that. I tell you, Islam is the truth, you know, and Islam keeps growing. Islam is good. Why? Because it's reality. You cannot commit murder. You cannot com become yes, robbers. I, I Thank you very much. You need to become a Muslim, yeah? Thank you very much. Very nice manners. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. They were Spanish. And for those people who know the history of Spain, when uh, Garnata fell, the last Muslim uh, stronghold in Spain, and the number of Muslims became less and less. Then there was a Spanish. I'm just uh, uh, ending up. Okay. Finalizing because the two Spanish girls, they have left. So, as I said, they are from Spain, beautiful country, Spain, which was ruled by the Muslims from the year 711 AD to the year 1492 AD, when Granata fell, either nearly the whole of Spain, from the Pyrenees mountains near Spain, all the way downwards, okay? Or parts of Spain. So, nearly 800 years, the Muslims ruled Spain, okay? And the Muslims allowed people to keep their religion. And finally, when Garnata fell, the Christians took over. And what happened? Uh, by, uh, rules and regulations were passed by the Spanish kings that by the year 1605, you know, there's a, uh, what we, uh, when we go back to Spanish history, we learn about the Spanish Inquisition. They passed rules and regulations, the Spanish themselves, their kings, their rulers, that by the year 1605, all the Muslims in Spain, they have to become Christian if they want to stay in Spain. Or if they want to stay in Spain, they do not become Christian, they will die. And this was the same for the Jews as well. All the Jews as well, what do you think? First of all, that Christian lady was so rude. <laughs> Why would you just come and interrupt people like that? Uh, interrupt people like that? I mean, uh, I mean, it, it, it was just uh, nonsensical behavior. But anyway, um, I like the way the guy is so much inclined to to Muslim. Um, belief and it's really right there telling these guys like hey Muslim is the right one which is a really good thing and uh, to the main topic I like the way he talked about I mean the way he was trying to explain to these ladies although the ladies were trying to uh, they were really trying to 
not get at him but they're trying to ask questions thinking that maybe it's the hardest question to answer and he managed to answer them in a very profound manner and to an extent that even the ladies became uh, I mean it's like they gave up and they were like we need to go somewhere you know so it's true I mean for me this is my own opinion I feel like this thing of homosexuality, I mean, it's, it's, it's not the right thing. It's something that, it's a man construct, you know. It's something that was just, this wasn't, wasn't God. God did, doesn't want this, or the universe doesn't want this. I mean, you go out in nature, you won't find anything close to that. Maybe one of a few corrupt, maybe animals or whatnot, you find them doing so, because Nowadays, they are doing their engineering animals to become this and that, and we find animals also doing the same thing as humans doing today. So I feel like it's just, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's so sad we live at a, at, at a point where a man wants to marry another man. That's their own business, but I feel it shouldn't happen. I mean, it shouldn't, I mean, just think about it. I mean, it's not a good thing. Is, 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 is the universe happy that that is a is, is, is because that's not it doesn't go with the law of nature not even go with the law of nature it doesn't even okay then what you marry another opposite sex then what? you're gonna have kids together of course we understand today there's those you know things that they do but how many kids they can adopt hmm? don't you want kids for yourself i mean don't you want to I mean I don't know but I don't know what gets into people's mind to a point where they want to be like this and I know it's not biological I know these things are engineered at a younger age that's why there's some things that you shouldn't eat there's some things that you shouldn't take and there's some I mean also <clears throat> there's so many factors as to why people become that understand and I think no one is out there addressing these issues because these uh, sort of agendas that even they're the, there. The, the, yes, they are there, but the elites are kind of suppressing the people who are actually wanting to oppose such kind of things, you know. So even today, when we start talking about this in a in a higher in high places, they will stop you from doing that because they tell you that's that's their right, you know. Anyway, yeah, what do you think? Um, starting with the rude lady, just rude. People need to stop feeling entitled. Like, you can say something, but I can't. <laughs> What's wrong with people? And what I admire most about this is that the ladies, unlike the other woman that came in from nowhere, respected what the man had to say, even if their answers differed, or maybe opinions differed. They were still willing to listen and understand um, how this man himself, Uncle Who? Oh, yeah, how he thinks and his opinion on the matter that was asked. To me, it's just giving, the entire agenda is just giving um, population control to me. You yeah, understand? Because at some point, there will be no babies to adopt if it's just male, male, female, female. Do you understand? where the baby is going to come from it's like there will be shortage of, shortage of that and i don't know i'm of the opinion that if someone is happy let them be happy you know as long as it doesn't penetrate or disrupt what you believe in i think the focus should be on you that's what i have to say is there anything else and I, you know what what is really sickening is the fact that even the uh, the high priests, you know, or the people who sit in the high tables up there, they kind of, you know, even the, not the, practice the but only, just accept. The only that wrong kind of thing they do by doing that is forcing it on people. I know you're a leader, I respect <clears> you, <throat> but then once you start um, campaigning for certain things that you know I don't agree with, pushing yeah. it so that i can reason it it's not right especially i should be able to respect your beliefs 
respect me and the way also like the way they put it on these television networks i mean the thing is they're just pushing it to our kids and you know kids are so vulnerable the, the moment they see this thing they want to try them out and i think that's the one number one agenda let's let's focus on the kids let's forget about this that's why it was such fun yeah and also i feel like it's 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 a uh, i mean this thing of coming out it is just so i don't know something that i feel like it's so staged i mean just people uh, knew already who you are you understand so sometimes the, people almost, don't know but have you considered that today if you come out or i come out for whatever it is there's that popularity that comes with it that's, so I feel like some people just do it for the sake of it, doing it. People they do lie. that because of the views, the numbers, you know, recognition. So, yeah. They understand. But we already know who you are, you know. We, we could tell by the, how you talk, how you walk, how you speak, how you do your things. You understand? The kind of people you move with. Mm -hmm. So what's the, what's the point of your coming out? And you guys, yeah. Sometimes some things are your business. Do you understand? Exactly. What I'm saying is there's nothing special about us announcing that we're in a relationship every other day do you understand why are we not getting the same attention these other people get what's so special about the other groups that exist yes so that's that from you what did you want yeah. to say that's no, okay it's fine i want to say the same thing huh i wanted to say the same thing it's fine um what did i want to say if there's anything that you guys want to see us react to make sure you drop it down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video and deuces